Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 1,464th edition of Short-Term Trading Live with Oscar. Good day, traders. Good morning, good afternoon. This video should, you should find interesting, as far as I'm concerned. What I'd like to say is I'm only going to reference the indices like NASDAQ and E-mini S&P once, and then, then I'm going to take you through a little tour of what I like to call the 200 ball moving average and commodities inflation. Again, the 200 bar average and commodities inflation. That will be tonight's theme. This, this video, the 1,464th installment of these nightly, almost nightly videos is coming at you on a Monday night for trading Tuesday, May 3rd, 2016. Please note that futures trading is extremely risky, causes substantial financial loss, is not suitable for all traders. You must have risk capital that you can lose lose if you're going to play this game all right it's a tricky tricky game but let's move forward to those who know how to put stops in and understand the game let's look at some charts and see what's going on traders once again i'm only going to reference the indices once and then we're going to move forward so follow me with these charts nasdaq daily bar i'm only going to say this this is the 200 ball moving average we are below it where in this channel it needs to be monitored this needs to be monitored, the NASDAQ, the S&P, the Russell. In fact, one other chart that we should look at very quickly is the weekly of the NASDAQ. Same thing, same market, weekly chart now. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder, head test area we got up there. It failed so far, hovering around my Otapma. All I want to say at this point is... This needs to be watched, okay? Keep your eyes on that, and that's about all I'm going to show you in this video for the indices. We're going to look at a, 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 a multitude of charts, if you will. <laughs> yeah, you know, now that I'm looking at my list here, we've got a lot of charts to get through. Let's get through them quickly. I think you will see the point that I am looking to make. And everybody, let's go. Let's go to chart 13, and we'll start right here. Let's go with the gold market. Take a look at this bad boy. Gold daily bar. 200 bar moving average is down here. It builds a big bull flag after getting above the 200 bar moving average where you can see the breakout right here. And now we've got this breakout above the flag and look at that wonderful gold market. And it is about to do some kind of a flag type thing here, don't you think? Maybe a pennant, maybe a flag, something's happening here. So you've got a lot going on. Gold, looking bullish, commodity inflation. Let's look at the E-mini S&P. Excuse me, sorry, we're not going there. Let's look at silver. For the silver market, look at this run silver has been in. Silver and soy, remember the 80s? Silver and soy. Silver looks fantastic here. I mean, wow. So the metals are starting to show commodities inflation, and once you are above that 200 bar moving average, you've got some fireworks. Copper. Look at the copper, and here's the interesting thing about copper. Fund managers, traders, people paying attention. It's just getting above the 200 bar moving average, as opposed to some of the others. And if this isn't some form of a bull flag, I'd be shocked. Because it's got to be something brewing right here. Some kind of a flag thing going on here, don't you think? There's something happening here. Let me get rid of that middle line real quickly. That's some kind of a flag, if you ask me. So, uh, you know, keep your eyes on the metals along with everything else happening here. So, copper, silver, gold. Look at platinum. Platinum. Look at this chart. Started off with a series of bull flags, and you know, I showed these to you in another video. That's why all of this is out there. Bull flag platinum, bull flag platinum, bull flag platinum, above the 200 bar moving average, and wham, look at it go. Look at that rally. And this is an F flag, one of those Oscarism F flags you've got building right here. So rock and roll, you know, there's your little flag pole, there's your flag. 
the metals are starting to boom, even palladium. Um, the palladium market, I think, is just getting just getting moving above that 200. Look at it. It's just now starting to rocket above the 200. So interesting times here. Let's look at, um, let's move around. Let's, I don't know what next. Let's go look at the grain complex. Soybeans. Look at this insane move in soybeans. And where, where did it really begin? Once it gets above the 200 ball moving average. Look at this massive rally. I mean, that is wonderful. And it's up a bit tonight. It built a it built a bull flag right about here, some weird bull flag, and away it goes. So your soybeans looking good. Look at the corn, traders. Jiffy Pop, I mean, it's just getting warmed up. Look at the corn trade here. It's just getting above the 200 bar. You've seen what happens once we get above. This, if you ask me, my friends, is called commodities inflation. We are seeing inflation in commodities. You see inflation in commodities, you will get inflation in the economy. It starts somewhere. It's got to start with the commodities that we make products out of, other things that we eat, foodstuffs. So it's starting here. Let's continue to see what else we have. Soy meal. Look at the soy meal chart. I mean, my goodness, once you got above the 200 ball moving average, it just went crazy. Soy meal. And if you don't see that happening, look at this. How For how long it just went down and flat. Look at how long that this thing went down for. You go inside of this channel, and you are down for quite some time, right? And then, boom, you get a little above the channel. You get above that 200, and bam, look at the rally. So this looks like it's starting to happen all over the place. Then there's something like this. There's oats. Oats isn't there yet, so there's another one. One of them that's just getting above. So there's a few that haven't taken off yet, and the ones that are just getting above, or excuse me, this one is one of the ones that is nowhere near it. My apologies, I had some notes written for that. So there are, you know, two of them I think I'm going to show you, maybe three in tonight's video that look like this. Nowhere near the 200 bar, it did make an attempt. Nowhere near this 200 bar moving average, but... I, is this some weird overextended bull flag type thing going on right here? I mean, you know, you got to use your imagination on this one. I get it. But I, I you know what? I don't know what that is. <laughs> I say I have no idea what that is. But we're nowhere near the 200 on oats. Oats is not there yet. But it did get above this important line. You see this trend line. You couldn't get above. You couldn't get above. You couldn't get above. You did get above. You got near the 200. Tested it and is holding. So you should head up, head back up towards the 200 ball moving average in your oats. Let's go look at this complex. You're going to love these charts. Crude oil, kids. Look at this crude oil chart. So right now, look at where it is and the 200 ball moving average. It's just getting above. And when you take a closer look, or I should say zoom out a little bit on crude, look at the V-bottoming looking thing going on, illustrated with these red lines. I'll be docking them in very quickly. So some sort of possible V-bottom going on here in crude. I mean, let's face it, it dropped from over 100 down to the 20s. So we'd have to call this some sort of a bottoming action if it is. But here's the important thing. Above the 200 ball moving average, is your crude oil. Look at your heating oil. I didn't even bother to label it. I got so excited when I seen it. <laughs> Look at this one. It is just getting there. I mean, that one, you know, if this one goes over, you should get a nice boom out of it. So, I mean, summertime is coming, but listen, forget about the seasonals. This is about analysis. When is the last time you've seen this chart above the 200? Follow it back. You don't see this chart above the 200. It's not happening. So interesting if the oil complex is joining, and then you've got something. I said I was going to show you a few different ones, right? You've got the natural gas, which is nowhere near it, like the oats. Natural gas is nowhere near that 200 ball moving average. And then if you ask me... 
there'll be more natural gas coming because as the crude oil starts moving higher, those 600 plus oil rigs that are sitting idle waiting for a reason will get their reason as the price of crude moves higher above the 200 ball moving average. As they pump more crude, they will get more natural gas. So the chart doesn't look bullish, nor does the natural gas situation fundamentally. And look at how far away we are from the 200 ball moving average. This analysis stuff makes sense, kids. I kid you not. I mean, it doesn't get better than this. These are roadmaps if handled correctly, if read correctly. So now you're looking at crude, heat, natural gas, crude and heat getting ready to really blast off. At least crude looks that way. Heating oil just about there. Natural gas, of course, if heating oil and crude are going to go up, more rigs are going to start pumping. Natural gas should probably not rally towards the 200 too fast. Makes perfect sense. Now let's continue to show you this commodity's inflation. It's all over the map. Now we're looking at sugar. 200 ball moving average. Look what happens when you get above it. Massive rally comes back down. Rally number two, sugar joining the commodity inflationary ring. Then you've got cocoa. The cocoa market, look at this bad boy. Above the 200, last time it tried, failure, right? Boom, couldn't get there. This time above and woof, starting to go. Coco joining in. Very nice charts here this evening. And then we do the offshoots. Remember this one? I told you there'll be a few offshoots tonight. Here's another offshoot. Look at the coffee going in the opposite direction. <laughs> it's being repelled by the 200 ball moving average instead of attracted to it repelled by it so right now coffee in the opposite direction but not everything goes up at once we know that coffee not working its way towards the 200 but almost all of the other commodities that would be considered inflationary certainly are look at this one look at this cotton i mean wow and you know cotton clothing you name it everywhere think about it cotton's all over the place this is a wonderful bull flag right here. I mean, look at this bull flag. Well-defined, well-defined bull flag. Looks like it should run above, just got above. There's another one, ding, 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 ding. The ones that just get above the 200 bar are the ones getting ready to run. So cotton, also the same. And of course, this is... Master of ceremonies right here, the dollar index. What is making all of this happen? Look at the dollar index. You've seen this chart in many videos. Bear flag, after bear flag, after big bear flag, now breaks the bottom of the channel, and downward spiral, spiral we go. And when the dollar is in a downward spiral... Of course, all the commodities I just showed you are going to go up. Traders, this is what I wanted you to see. Very interesting charts out there. Commodity inflation is starting to come our way. These markets absolutely positively are in question, and you need to be careful out there, okay? I know we're buyers of dips, but you need to be careful with these indices. You've seen the daily you seen the weekly on this chart, number eight. The weekly is interesting. You know, I, I don't, <laughs> I'm just going to keep my eyes on it. The commodity inflationary report was the report I wanted to give you, and that was the basis or the thesis behind tonight's video. Traders, thank you so much for watching my videos. Remember, come on down to livewithoscar.com. Come join me in my free trading rooms. If you'd like to learn this analysis, my brand, the Omni brand from me, come to livewithoscar.com, click the OmniCamp application, and I'll be more than happy to qualify you for a seat this June. All right, traders, keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things I can tell you when it comes to keeping those emotions at bay is to say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stops are in. E Emotions are out.
trade is rock and roll. I'll see you all at livewithoscar.com.